All right. There's another fairy in this one. Oh, right, this one. This one's around table cover. You can see you got more frozen waterfalls. Uh, let them loose to push that down to create, you know, a, a lever kind of thing. Like a lazy yeah. rock over here. And if I remember right, it's not as straightforward as you want it to be. Or it's more straightforward than you think it is. One of the two. That's like the one to the entrance or exit or whatever. What is this gonna be? Oh, I don't wanna deal with these things. And then if you hop over to this one. you up and we adjust the water current with that guy, right? And then we change the dead. We change the world. Now change places! Alright, what does that do for me? I don't know. Um, oh, can this... Remember, right? Maybe climbing on this thing? Is this a thing that we get? Yeah, 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 just climbing. Yeah, we climb on the pipe. I think Zorlink's only one tall enough to grab this. Um, and then, can't climb that one, but we can drop down here. And then hook shot over to the other side there. Yeah, that's pretty clever. Yeah. Actually, a valid point. I'll bet it is. I bet it's not the other one. This might be the right one. Think. Push one side down, the other side goes up, opening a hole. A fairy! A wholesome addition. Uh, I wish I had your attitude for such skills. You always get a whole one one. Then let's see. Do I need to freeze this one? I was not paying attention. I need to melt that one. So yeah, getting out of the room is pretty simple. You just do this. This is assuming you have magic. There's plenty of magic in the, in the crates. Oh, and we're back in this room. Hey, you remember this room? Yeah? Yes. Cool. I thought we were kind of done with the room. I mean, we're done fairy-wise, so that's one, one good thing. one we already entered. Oh, there's the fairy! Oh, uh, god damn it. I'll put on the other mask. <laughs> mm, you know what? I think Song of Soaring brings me to the beginning of the dungeon. 
Maybe I should do it. Do you want to try? Yeah. Not for that fairy. Actually, I think streamlined, this is probably quicker. Or just don't want to. I'm gonna have to go through it twice, though. Or I can Song of Soaring after the first time, so. <sighs> More times than I thought. More times than a multiplication table, son. Where X doesn't mean X. Where X is not a variable. We don't really use that anymore. It's all just letters and shit. Oh, letters and shit. Get away from me. Get away from me, I don't like it. So yeah, when you know what you're doing and you're not looking for fairies, it's actually a quick couple of rooms. Now what if I wore my great fairy mask while... No, I can't actually, because I can't see him well enough. I need to be as to go that deep. So what if I was like... Here? And no! Uh... <laughs> God. Oh, well, thanks, actually. No, stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> no, because what I can do now is I can break the pot from up here. Hopefully. Oh, you want to do it from here so you can uh, take the mask on? Yeah, so I can just not get in the water, hopefully. I am exiting through this room because screw everybody in that in that little sequence. So whoever designed these water currents had currents with pipes in them? I mean, it's it's water flow, right? You're pumping water to various parts of the station. Wait. But the tunnels are also the same thing. Maybe these are bigger pipes for the same relative purpose. Uh, it's a pipe and a pipe? Yeah, sure. I don't look. It's technology. It's engineering. Extreme engineering. It's not meant for our puny human minds to comprehend. Okay, so we're still missing two fairies, and that's the boss door. Now, are they both in this room? Because that'd be nice. So, so what is this shape supposed to be? Is it supposed to be a fish? Um, I didn't never look too closely. Fish is a possibility. Uh, one of the weirder, like... Alright, let's see if... Now there's nothing here that would indicate a fairy. Underwater? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So are our fairies in this room? Like that one. The one right there. Yeah. Come to me, fairy. I'm not going in there. <laughs> I may have no choice. <laughs> I may have no choice but to die tonight. 
Oh, I can't put on the fairy mask on underwater. Or in the water at all. That's what the ice platform is for. I can't shoot an ice platform while I'm in the water. So I have to do this. And the fairy notices me. And there's still one in this room, and there it is. Ha! We got all the fairies in the dungeon, and we didn't even have to do a mad scramble at the end. Thanks to Crazy Freaky Lady. Alright. So we're gonna come up on the exciting climactic battle for the boss. This is actually probably the hardest boss fight in the game, too. Because it's kind of a jerk, often. Gosh, I don't know if I need it, but... So basically there are... Geronimo! There are two ways to fight this boss, as there often is. There's the dangerous way, and there's the logical way. I'm gonna show you both, and then do the right one. Life is too short to remove USB safely. Show me what you got. Well, game, show us. Stop doing this first person bullshit. It's a fish. I love, like, the, the rainbow unicorn horns. <laughs> yeah. So, Georg, um, actually, you remember those sharks in Wind Waker? Those are also named Georg. Georg likes to eat you. So if you swim close to him, he will try to eat you. Um, swim behind him? The extreme way to fight him is to do this. But good luck doing that uh, and not get eaten. It's like, seriously, screw that. So, so what I, I have a guess. You need to freeze him. Um... We can try that. I don't think it actually works. What I do is I, I shoot him with arrows, um, and that'll stun him, and then you can jump in. Well, not, not the bear. Ah. See how he's a bitch. Gee. Yeah, luckily I had a fairy, but... See, I don't think ice arrows are actually beneficial here. That is one crazy prehistoric fish, man. Find him, for one thing. Over here. Bubble indicators. And then you can hear and see that he's stunned. So then, fly in, attack him quickly, and get the hell out. Okay. Sounds like a strategy. Yeah. May not be as stylish, but it works. Oh, god damn it. Get away from me. Not no, good. stop uh... it. <laughs> yep. Why do I have a targeting set on lock like that? It's bad. Also, getting a good angle on him is pretty like tough. Jump when he's trying to... <laughs> it's better than being eaten in the water, I guess. True. Yeah, I feel like if you get too close to the platform, you can kind of knock it like that. Yeah. No, stop that. Don't I? Alright, are we, are we happy? Yeah. Yes, we're happy. Alright, I'm probably gonna die a horrible death now. Uh, oh. Uh, oh yeah, he can uh, jump out of the water. Uh, too. Kill him, let's do it. 
since he's jumping out, this is probably worth killing at this point. Oh, he's not even close to done. He hasn't done his I'm I'm close to done. Alright. That's his hello, I'm you are damaging me thing. He creates little babies and Great magic pot. No, he's faster than me too. <laughs> no, good night. Georg is the biggest asshole. No oh, man. Let's take a break for now. Man. Hot. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. So, um, there's no owl statue in here. So, actually, this is a good opportunity for us to go out, go to the owl statue, get the great fairy reward, which will help us in the fight. Uh, and then, then we'll continue doing our thing. Okay. Let me just get up on uh, on the turtle's back here. Uh, this is the most difficult part of the game. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> yes. Oh, right, and the screen's shrinking because it's almost the end of the day. No, we're gonna die. We're all gonna die. Okay, fairy. And we're gonna save and continue. Save. Safe, yes, that. True story of this game ever told. Uh, first time my brother played, he selected no after, like, essentially that same situation. Mm -hmm. And so we lost all our progress in the dungeon, and he was like, fuck this, and he never played it again. 